We are stocking 250,000. Got some shrinkage going on there. I put him in the bucket. That one? Man, that's creepy. He looks like the predator. So many fry. Every thumbs up I get on this video, I will stock a fish for that thumbs up. What is up, members? Welcome back to another very exciting video. In today's video, as you guys saw from the title, we are doing our biggest stocking ever. We are stocking 250,000 golden shiners into the old pond that we're managing. As I tell you every single time, we need to develop a big forage base and let them really grow up, and that way that's gonna grow our bass and our catfish and everything else that lives in there. Super freaking giant, so I'm jacked for that. We're gonna get there in a little bit. Right now, we're back here in the garden. Good news, guys, we actually planted the garden. We also got a new addition to the family. We'll show you that in a second, but we got tomato, 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 snap peas, blueberries, pepper, 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 and zucchini. Rebecca Milliken fishing spice rack guy thing right there. And of course we have green onions that grew over winter. I don't even know. New addition to the family, like I said to you guys. This is kind of a weird thing, but Max and I were trying to film a video where we would trap crawfish out at Larry's Ponds like two or three weeks ago. And we, we tried like three or four times, only would get a couple crawfish each time. Like it's not even worth making a video. But one of the times when we checked our traps, we had a little box turtle in our trap. And so Max, of course, begged me to take it home. And now Max has a new freaking pet turtle, but we were stupid. So, so we had him in the pond right here, which as you guys can see, needs more water in it. We got a couple buckets of water to pour in there today. But what Max, turns out you can't have a box turtle underwater at all times, right? right. So we're trying to find like a, a log or something to put in here so the turtle can get up and out of there. Um, and then he's kind of fenced in. So he's got a pretty good little, little house here. If he ends up eating any of the stuff in the garden, Mr. Box Turtle's getting fed to the wolves probably. <laughs> but for now, until we get a nice log, maybe we'll have to grab a log a little bit later. Mr. Box Turtle is living in a kiddie pool inside the garden. Yes, we have a pool next to a pond, next to other places where he could live. But Max and his brainiac mother decided we're just gonna put the old pond right there. Did you seriously put a water dish in there? Or is that his food dish? And that's blueberries? Yes. And he ate one last night, you said. Mm -hmm. There he is. Max, you want to tell him what his name is? Richard. MFers, welcome. Dick the Box Turtle. What up, Dick? Kind of got some shrinkage going on there, Dick the Box Turtle. I guess it is kind of cold and rainy out here. Understandable, bud. God, he's got some, like, crazy claws in here, dude. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Head. We had grandpa over last night, had a couple hundred beers, and ended up bringing Dick the Turtle indoors to kind of walk around on the carpet. The dog checked him out. It's kind of a good time. We're, we're just assuming it's male because we haven't done enough research about him to know whether it's male or female, but welcome to the channel, Dick the Box Turtle. I don't know what kind of exciting content we're gonna get with Dick the Box Turtle, but we'll probably end up feeding him at some point as well. Now, to go along with that, we still got our bullheads and didn't we have something else? The white crappie in this pond right here. And so we need to go to Larry's. Oh yeah, we got a crawfish. <laughs> we did take one crawfish and put him in there. I don't know why. He'll probably burrow a hole in the freaking lining and drain the entire pond. I wouldn't be surprised with the way our luck is. The first step, we're gonna go to Larry's, pick up some, some bait, some food for the fish that are in the pond. And then, I don't know, what did box turtles eat, we decided? Spinach, blueberries, lettuce. But do they eat like insects too? I think, maybe some bugs. Yeah, I don't know. He's gonna have a pretty good life in the garden because there's always bugs around the garden, but we might at some point have to get him some crickets or something too. I don't know what freaking box turtles eat. If you guys know, let me know down below. Come on, Max, let's do this. First things first, we gotta go get some bait for that guy. And then we're dumping these freaking amazingly large amount of shiners in our pond. And I'll show you how that process can go too. Ooh, flowers. Wow. Summer. Wee. Wow. Is that your gardening clothes? I don't think you're supposed to garden in all white, Rebecca. There isn't a drop of mud on me. See, if I like looked at the plants, my entire shirt would be covered. Here you go, sir. Be the bait boy today. You bet. Larry's is always open. You bet. What do we got here? Freaking Larry's doesn't have enough bait tanks there. He also needed a little cooler action. Spider. Spider? Minners? That's a lot of minnows. Does he actually have chubs or is this a lie? Oh God, he's got a billion chubs. 
Chubby Champ Chips. She's got goldfish out the ass. You want a goldfish for a pet? Yeah. Let's do it, man. I feel like we also need a water dog. Should we put a water dog in the tank? God dang, Larry's got a million. In there. In there. I'll give you a dollar if you reach in and grab one. One dollar. You gonna make your money or what? Two. Alright, two bucks. Grab one? Grab one. <laughs> two dollars, you're just throwing away, Max. Just be careful, they bite pretty hard. No. Do, do, do. I touched one. You get nothing. Oh. What? Swim, swim away. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of their their goal is to get away from you. Oh, I thought this had You had one, dude. You get a little more comfortable with it now. I like this. Did you touch every one of them in there yet? Yeah. Get it. Goo. Oh. You gotta grab them by their head area, or else they'll squirm away like that. I put them in the bucket? That one? Get him! Two dollars. What a hard ass. You buying a goldfish with your money? Deal. Larry the goat. Ah, we better get some water for him too, dog. There you go, Mr. Water Dog Guy. Man, those things are weird. All right, get your goldfish, homie. Go grab that net over there. Pick one out you want. I mean, you're not going to probably get the one you actually want, regardless. Get him. There you go. Now you got some choices. Max is getting a pet goldfish with his $2. Oh, God, he's gone forever. Grab it like a man. Wrap your hand around him, goofball. Wow, that's a really pretty goldfish you got there. We should probably put some more water in there. Look at this little feeler thing. Weird feeler, guys. All right, we came here for freaking minnows. Let's actually get some minnows, Max. We're easily distracted, apparently. Really, I think that dude will eat some minnows, too, so. Man, that's creepy. He looks like the predator. Hey, Max. Should we have viewers comment names for the water dog and goldfish? Sure. Do you have any leaders in the clubhouse right now? Oh, um, no. How about Walter the water dog? That's good, yeah. Or Willis. How about Gregory the Goldfish? Okay, I like that. Okay, well that's not the name. We'll let people vote. Tell us what we should name it, please. It's a big part of the video. You take that and you get a bunch and then you take the scoop and you scoop them in there. Let's go for these though because I don't think we're gonna be able to get many otherwise. There you go. I'll scoop them into the bucket. That's like a quarter of a scoop, but whatever. Let's do it. Don't eat my goldfish. Yeah, seriously. Don't eat the goldfish. Don't eat all the minnows. Should we pay the man and get out of here? Yeah, not to bring any more Richards, though. She don't want any more dicks in the house, huh? We didn't get any more turtles. We did get a water dog and a goldfish and a bunch of minnows. Tough luck, Mom. All right, grab the cooler. Let's go. <laughs> no dice? Uh-oh, Max, I think we found another pet. Little toad guy. Come here, little toad guy. Look at this dude. Do you want him? Mom said no more pets. No, you're right. She said no more turtles. She didn't say we couldn't bring a toad home. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are, uh, we just made it out to the pond. This is the pond we've been stocking. If you've been following this process, um, once again, just, just to repeat what we're trying to do here. So there's a bunch of bass in here, but they are very, very stunted. Every one that we're catching is either very skinny or just not quite as fat as it's supposed to be. And the reason is there's hardly any forage in this lake. So we need to build the forage base as big as possible. We've been stocking this pond with all sorts of shiners and bluegill, but I wanted to do something to make a legitimate dent. This isn't a very big pond. It's only probably five to 10 acre pond. And I told you guys, if a video gets 10,000 likes the last time we were out here stocking some fish, I was going to buy 250,000 golden shiners. That's exactly what I did. So I went online, I found this, this, this fish hatchery called Anderson Minnow in Arkansas, and they actually sell golden shiner fry. So these are little tiny baby fry. And I did this like a month ago after that video was released. Sorry. <laughs> little flick right there. 
<laughs> so, anyways, we had to wait like a month for the, the shiners to actually breed, of course, and then have their little fry. And now we finally got our fry. They shipped them to us. I've never had fish shipped before. They shipped them to us yesterday, and now it's time to, uh, to put them in this pond right here. Well, let me show them to you, though. A little top water blow up over there, Maxie. See the big swirl over there? What sucks is I don't even have a braided. I could probably throw a frog on not braid. We'll see. Anyways. So they're all inside these bags right here, which we need to take these clamps off of. Max, you want to be the camera guy? So here is our bag full of shiners. And this is absolutely ridiculous how small these little guys are. Let me show them to you. Look at a little handful of these things. Good God, there's so many in there. So to my surprise, it was only like $300 for these 250,000 Golden Shiner Fry. And these things, Max, can you even see those? Look how tiny no. the little fry are. Yeah, you can't even see how small they are. But let me, let me grab that camera from you real quick. Yeah, looking down in there, so many fry. Unbelievable amounts of fry. 250,000 to be exact. So what we're gonna do is, since these fry are obviously very small, they're too small to be like a, a legitimate big forage base for the bass right now, we are going to stock them over here and further up the creek to areas where they can hide and not be eaten immediately by bass. And the good thing about these fry is once they're bigger, they'll be able to reproduce, be a really solid forage base. And of course, a lot of them are gonna get eaten in the meantime, but we want these guys to grow up, get big, have babies, and just fill this pond right here with food for those big guys to eat. Before we get these dumped in, I wanna let you guys know, the next time I stock fish in this pond, every thumbs up I get on this video, I will stock a fish for that thumbs up. So if we get 1,000, I'll stock 1,000 fish. If we get 40,000, I'll stock 40,000 fish. You guys want to make me broke and, and drain my bank account. I know that, so feel free to do that right now. Look at that. There are so many in here. That is ridiculous. Look at that. It's just like a cloud. The little dudes are just, just chilling. Just being a cloud of fries. Get bigger little buddies. Get bigger little buddies. I'm probably missing like a thousand of these somewhere in the bottom of this bag. Okay. We have developed a little bit further the bait forward base at this lake. Mom's so proud of us. Well, here we are back home. Time to get our new found friend pets into our little system here, our little ecosystem slash garden area. Ah, I caught a damn bass, but my camera was off in my chest, so doing a good job recording these YouTube video things. We got the Shiner Fry, 250,000 of them dumped into the pond, so that's that was a plus. Good good reason we went out there. Now it's time to decide where we're going to put these little guys. Maxie, what do you think? Well, I think we should put the goldfish in that one. Okay. The frog with the turtle. It's a toad. A toad. <laughs> toad with the turtle. The water dog. There's Dick, the just waiting for us. Water dog in the big pond. The little pond. Little pond in there. I don't know what the water dog is going to do. He probably will actually climb out and be gone. Hi, Mr. Water Dog guy. He just barked at you, I think. <laughs> he said, meow. Oh, God. Slide. Look who it is. We got new critters for you, Emmy. All right, so you're going top level with the water dog? Yep. All right, throw him in there. That's his house. He's going to love the insects. Look at him down there. All right, now you want to do what? Put the toad with Dick? Yeah. Little toad guy just... Hanging out with Dick. Toad, Dick. Toad, Dick. Dick, Toad. And what'd you say you wanted to dump the minnows in the pond to feed the bullheads, right? Right. Okay. That guy might jump out. He might be gone. Goldfish is going in there. All right, grab your goldfish. We also need a goldfish name, apparently. I don't know what the goldfish Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your goldfish pet. Goldie the goldfish. Goldie the goldfish. All right, we don't need a name for the goldfish. It's Goldie, Max says. What do you think about all this? She's like, I used to be the only pet here. What the hell's going on? Dump those in the big pond. Deal? Deal. Don't step on the tomato plant right behind your foot. <laughs> have you used a bucket before? Yeah, I have. Minnows! Hey, good job today. 
Well, today was a good time. Uh, we got new pets, which Becky told us we weren't allowed to have any more pets. We now have three plus a bunch of uh, minnows for the other fish to eat. Don't forget, like I told you guys, I will uh, I'll, I'll stock a fish, one fish for every thumbs up on this video. Next time I'm out at the, uh, the Solange factory out there, I'm so glad we got some more forage base stocked out there so we can help build it up. And I need to go pack a bunch of stuff because I have a large national championship bass fishing tournament to go fish this week. But thanks so much for watching this one, Matt Go hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more of these fish stocking videos and see how damn big we can make those bass over at the pond where we just stocked all those fry. I'll catch you guys very soon. For me, for the Dab Master, 